So when a believer is not picking signals from the spirit, he's lost. When you begin to pick signals from heaven, the first thing that happens to you is that the burden of God comes upon you. So when you come to church, like Daddy was saying, you now look at the empty chairs, you were worshipping God, and suddenly a signal comes to your spirit, and then you see that the father was grieved. That men are not worshipping. The moment you pick that signal, that will become your body. Next Sunday, you can't come to church alone. Whether you like it or not, that signal you pick to become a burden on your life. You can be in church and suddenly the keyboard is not working. Even if it's the last money you have saved, you will buy a keyboard next Sunday. Others will not understand why you are doing what you are doing. You are functioning by a signal. Because when you capture a signal from the spirit, it becomes a burden. That burden is the fuel that powers your service to God. Because when a spirit reveals himself to you, <laughs> nothing will matter to you anymore. You know, the reason why lost easily finds expression in our soul is because we have not seen him that is eternal. The Bible said the reason Moses was able to abandon Egypt was because he saw him that was invincible. When a man sees God, when a man begins to pick vibrations from the realm of God, it becomes difficult for that man to focus on earth. Because sometimes when you go to God's presence, you can stand there for three days. Your work will suffer. Did you remember when the cloud came upon Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration? Peter said, let's do three tents here. One for you, one for Elijah, one for Moses. Peter forgot he has a family. <laughs> you won't go back. See, the reason you come to God's presence and you are tired, you have not seen him. When you see him, you have to tell yourself, I need to feed my children. Because if you stay there, you will never go. So when a man begins to pick signals from heaven, hunger is born, hunger. So he comes and he wants more. He wants more. It's not about the things God gives now. It's about God himself. When these three things are happening to you, it means you are alive in the spirit.